For this episode, I was thinking, what happens if I have a French lemon tart meets a Florida key lime pie? And today I'm going to make a gluten-free lemon lime custard tart. And I'm hoping the lemon will give me this puckery taste with the smoothness of the heavy cream and then the lime will give me that nice little bit of tartness. And then to make it beautiful and presentable, I'm going to put the meringue on the top of it. And this gluten-free tart will be so delicious that it will not only outshine its glutinous cousins, but will make them jealous and hoping to be gluten-free as well. remember that I was struggling in my vegan tart recipe to do this perfect rollout of the tart crust into the tart pan. I'm gonna try and see if I can improve on it today. I'm gonna to pre-flour my tart crust this time and this time I used the regular tart crust recipe so it has butter in it and as you can see it's pretty solid. When I have a pretty solid dough what I like to do is I like to cut it and I'm creating those small little disc arrangements. And then I'm gonna flour that a little bit. And I'm gonna roll it out now. And you see how I have a little bit of a hole here, so I'm gonna put some more tart dough in those holes. That's probably not how a pastry chef would be doing it, but hey, I'm not a pastry chef. Mm, has to be a bit wider. I think I need a bit more dough here. Well, I have to roll the pastry dough pretty thin and I want to sprinkle it a little bit with the gluten-free flour combination. And I'm going to roll up the tart crust now onto my rolling pin. I'm going to place now my rolling pin onto the top of my tart pan and going to roll off the dough into the tart pan. Or at least that's the plan. Check this out. I almost did it. And with a sharp knife, I'm going to trim now my tart edges. I'm also going to reinforce my tart edges with a little bit of extra dough because here and there the edge seemed a little bit too thin. I also want to stamp my tart crust with a fork to release the air. So I just took my pre-baked tart crust out of the oven. And I'm going to get started now onto my lemon lime tart custard filling. And I'm going to first half my lemons and my limes. To get ready for my filling, I'm going to squeeze four lemons and five lines. And here's my freshly squeezed lemon and lime juice. To make the custard filling, I'm gonna weigh now 150 grams of sugar. I'm gonna add six eggs and somehow a broken egg. And I'm gonna whisk now the eggs and the sugar. And I'm gonna add about 175 milliliters of heavy cream, which is about three quarter cup. And I'm gonna put the mixture now into the pot and heat it up to make a custard. When the sugar is dissolved and the mixture is well combined, I'm gonna take it off the heat. I'm gonna assemble now my lime lemon tart and I'm gonna pour the custard into my tart. Okay, I'm going to bake the tart now for another 20 to 30 minutes. So here's my freshly baked lemon lime tart. And you can see how the custard is completely set now. The last thing I have to do for my lime lemon tart is to make the meringue topping. And for that, I'm going to beat three egg whites stiff and add some sugar. And I'm going to use a little bit of lemon juice to stabilize it. And I can certainly separate my egg whites and my egg yolks, but I have some leftover egg whites from my tiramisu recipe or some of my other recipes. And what I did is I froze the egg whites, defrosted them yesterday, and I can use now my defrosted egg whites to make the meringue. I'm going to add my egg whites to the stand mixer and slowly beat it to a stiff peak. I also measured 120 grams of sugar and I'm going to add it now teaspoon by teaspoon. And here's the finished stiffened meringue and you can see how the meringue forms the shape now on the top of the beater. So the thing I have to do is now add the meringue to the top 
of the lemon lime tart. And what you can do is create a little bit of a pattern with your spatula. And I'm going to bake the meringue now for another 15 to 20 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. I really want the meringue to have this nice golden top. I'm going to release the tart now from my tart pan. Here's my finished lemon lime tart with the meringue topping. As you can see how the meringue got this beautiful golden top. And my experiment was a success. Certainly I fed all my neighbors and my best friend with the lemon lime tart and I asked them, hey, did you like it? And they're like, yeah, that was good. Okay, they didn't say, oh, that is good. Because, I mean, they would say it more in Irish undertone. So, and I can't yet mimic the Irish accent. So just imagine, oh, that is good with some Irish. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye!